everyone and welcome to the Sleep Foundation video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the wallet and configure your wallet with the add nodes list. You will only need to do the add node list if you have problems with your sync with your wallet. First of all what you need to do is go to the leakcoin.net website. That's what you're currently seeing here and you want to navigate over to the wallet section of the website. When that comes up you want to click on the windows and this will open a mega link. Wait for that to load and click download through your browser. I've already done this so I'm going to skip this stage. You now want to go back to the wallet section of the leakcoin.net website and click on chain and you want to download that. I've already done that so again I'm not going to do that but you do have to. Um, and then click on the nodes list. What you want to do is save that for now, you don't need that just yet. Um, but as I said, you only really need this if you have problems with your syncing. So right, what do we need to do? So I've moved both of my Leap QT and the Leap blockchain to the desktop for ease to show you what I'm going to do. Um, you need to run your Leap wallet for the first time. So double click, run and it will take a couple of minutes, maybe a couple of seconds to load depending on how powerful your computer is. So when that's done, what you have to do, you do have to run the wallet first of all because this will generate you your roaming folder for the Leap wallet. And this is where we need to make a few edits to make everything run easier. and what you can do is press Windows R and this will bring up your run file your run command sorry um, now if you type in app data with the two percentages and press OK you'll get this window up here as you can see now we have the leak coin wallet here double click on that and as you can see we have this list what you need to do this is very important you need to delete everything apart from wallet.dat so now just delete that and you'll see that's all that's left in the folder so go over now to your leap blockchain and copy or just move you can cut move whatever you choose to do and you want to paste that into the leap coin roaming folder this will take a little while again depending on the power of your computer um, so you just have to leave it to run I'm going to pause the video and let it complete otherwise this will take a little bit longer so I shall be back in a moment. Hi everyone and welcome back to the video. Um, now that's completed what we need to do is create a config document. You only need to do this as I said if you have problems with syncing. So what you need to do is go ahead and open notepad and you want to go over to the Leap Network Peer Explorer on CoinExchange.io and the ads node list is there. If you scroll down you'll see a copy add node. If you click that, that puts everything onto your clipboard. Go over to your notepad document and paste that in. And then go, this is quite important, file, save as. You want to put it into the roaming data folder of the Leap wallet and you want to click save type as all files and then type 1337.conf that will give you a leak config file for your wallet to read now your wallet is ready to run so go ahead and close everything you had open and double click this may take a little bit longer for it to boot um, or open up so to speak because it's importing the new blockchain and um, 
Apart from that, the wallet will run the same. There is a noticeable difference. You won't have to sync the wallet for as long um, because you've replaced it. Um, This will take a little while to do because there is still uh, about a month worth of blocks to sync. There will be an updated bootstrap coming soon I'm sure. Um, apart from that, that's everything in this video that you need to do to get your wallet set up and running. Thank you for your time, this has been UK Mayhem.